Hey, what's going on guys? Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I just wanted to make a quick um, video here just kind of showing my sensitivities, uh, my how I've changed my controllers for building. For me personally, I think it's the best way that you can have it. I've tried a lot of different ways. I've searched on YouTube, I've asked friends how they've changed theirs, and I could never really find anything that felt natural to the point where I could get used to it for the long run. You know what I'm saying? Like for whatever like certain things felt okay but other it was it just wasn't good so up until now i never really have found anything that i enjoyed so i guess for starters we'll open up my sensitivities here for x and y i have 800 and 700 and then targeting 680 scope sense 750 uh building sensitivity f just call it 1500 now, in order to do what I'm going to show you guys here, you have to have Sprint by default on. I know that sounds weird, but I can honestly say that having it off is just almost a a downfall because you are very limited on the controller with the, the buttons that you have and what you can remap. If you totally take the L3 aspect of sprinting away, it opens up an entire new button that you can use for something. For me, it's my... Uh, it's my edit button, but we'll get into that. So sprint by default on. Uh, aim assist on. Obviously, we're on controller, so we're at a disadvantage. You kind of need that. The uh, edit mode aim assist. I like to have it off. It gives. It makes me feel like I'm more in control rather than the game thinks that it knows what I want to do. Uh, so I have that off. Turbo building on. Um, auto material change. I have that on. Builder Pro, build immediately on. It just feels more responsive. It's faster. You don't have to double-click to switch to different build types. Um, I just have that on. Always have. The second that they brought that into the game and I heard about that, I, I put that on. It just feels better. So, we'll look over at our controls here. Combat controls. Um, for me, personally, just a side note, in the PlayStation settings, I have my like R1, R2 switched and L1, L2 switched. But, like, in-game it shows R2 attack slash confirm. For me, I press R1. Small little detail, doesn't really matter. The only reason why I have it that way is because I like to shoot with R1 and aim with L1. Uh, but some games don't allow you to do that, and they don't even give you the option to switch the two, so I had to switch it in the PlayStation settings. So, yeah. Small little side note. So, you're running along and you need to build. Instead of taking your finger off the goddamn stick, I switched it to R3. So if you're running around, you know, you're minding your own business, and you get shot at, before you had to take your finger off, which is precious time. You can't look around when you do that. Uh, now, you just click R3. It's right there. It's very fast. You don't even have to move your finger off. So you're just running along. Someone starts shooting at you. You can just instantly build something up. You know, leave me alone, essentially. <clears throat> and then, uh, I guess that's a, a segue straight into this for our editing there is no holding a circle button to edit here. It's L3. That's why we have sprint on default. I literally am pushing my stick forward. That's it. it just automatically starts sprinting. It's amazing. Like I said, it gives you the option to use L3 for something else. And in this case, it's edit. So boom, that fast. Um, so like, as an example, L3 edit attack slash confirm when you confirm something that's like well that confirm you know what I'm saying like to choose tiles or whatever it should be your shooting button regardless but um, L3 do edit that and then confirm for us would be R3 the same thing that is switch mode so let's go to that real quick so build control switch mode combat control switch mode and then in edit, it's confirmed. So it's all the same thing. Anything that has to do with building at all is R3. You don't ever have to take your thumb off of the stick, which is just amazing, to be honest. It's it's It feels so much more natural than having to drag your thumb off and touch circle every time you want to do anything that has to do with building or editing, and it just slows you down. Wouldn't recommend doing it. Switch it immediately. It just doesn't feel right having it otherwise. Um... And plus, you could do fast little things like that. Like, a lot of times, people aren't ready for this. You know what I'm saying? It's all about 
being as fast as we can here on console because we are at a disadvantage. I'm not the fucking spokesman of this. I'm not the best. So, I'm sorry that I'm not as fast as others, but you can get what I'm saying. So, as an example that I was going to kind of do over there with the window, we'll just go back to the window. Um, kind of like a an editing course or whatever. So, like, if you have someone back there trying to shoot at you, you can pop it open just like that. I never took my thumbs off the sticks to do that. It's that easy, you know what I'm saying? Take your shot, and then f to get rid of this and go back to normal, we're going to click R3. R3, or shit, my bad. L3 to edit. And then we're going to do L3 again to reset, and then R3 to confirm. So that whole time we never took our thumbs off the sticks. So yeah, I mean it's I don't know. A lot of a lot of this is like personal preference and I do have people ask me how I have my settings and whatnot, so I just wanted to show you guys that's kinda how I got mine set up. So yeah. And also, if you have your stairs, and you need to rotate them, we have that on down. It's very close to your left stick. It's not hard to do at all. Um, material is on left. Rotate is down. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, let me know. If not, let me know also. I know I'm not the best when it comes to editing and shit like that, but... Hey, when I get asked what my settings are, and this is it, I will let you guys know.